How's it going? It's going great. I'm just leaving the gym, actually, having a great day. <laughs> yeah. You work out every day? Uh, like three to four times a week, yeah. That's good. Um, okay, so to kick things off, I wanted to just, like, talk about who you are as a person. Like, it, like just tell us a little bit about yourself, not necessarily as an artist, but as a person. Okay. My name is Courtney Noel. I'm from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Um, I'm a singer, songwriter, recording artist. Uh, signed to Taylor Gang. I've been writing songs since I was a teenager. Been performing uh, the songs I've actually written since I was about 13 or 14 years old. Um, and yeah, I love to sing. <laughs> That's good. And is Courtney Noel your real name? Courtney Noel is my middle name. My full okay. name is Courtney Noel Bradley. Okay, so pretty nice name. Thank you. Yeah, um, and like as an artist, how did you get your first start in Pittsburgh? Like what was the first thing you ever, you ever did? Um, I was actually signed to a record label entitled Brooklyn. Um, it was run by the track masters and Eric Nix, um, who was a former A&R of Warner Brothers Music. They teamed up to start a label back in, I want to say 2009. Um, and so that was my first deal, and I wrote a couple songs and finished a project with them. Uh, we couldn't really work the business stuff out, so, you know, that kind of fell through. And at the same time, uh, Wiz was working at ID Labs in Pittsburgh, and I came back to Pittsburgh to work on some new stuff. And we just kind of linked up in the studio, and we did Bankroll together, which was, like, one of our first kind of collaborations. And so when... Uh, star power came out it just kind of took off and you know my presence got a little more known in Pittsburgh and then with the web presence and things like that so it started in ID Labs with Wiz is where it really started to get some exposure but I had been recording long before that. You connected with T Taylor Gang through Wiz Khalifa first? Yes absolutely um before Taylor Gang was an actual label mm -hmm. um they just kind of were putting it on clothes and you know, trying to develop, you know, what exactly Taylor Gang yeah. was. And yeah. a yeah. lot of people in Taylor Gang went to a high school here in Pittsburgh called Taylor Alderdice and, yeah. you know, they're Chuck Taylors. And so I really didn't know how I fit into it. But, you know, it's it's sort of like a, um, it's more so a sound. Like we have our own sound. We have our own kind of connection as a group. So, yes, my first, my start would be with Taylor Gang where it really, you know, meant something and had a presence and people know, know us for being you know, that brand is Taylor Gang. Yeah, and, like, actually what you just said about, like, you weren't sure. So you didn't go to Taylor Alderdice, basically. Is what you said no, I actually went to school in Maryland. I didn't, I didn't, uh, I moved away from Pittsburgh for a long time, actually. So it was, I was, like, the newcomer. Everybody else had already been around. Yeah. Um, but I think once they seen that they were missing a singer that, yeah. you know, and me and Wiz made such great music, and we were so cool, and I got I get along with all the guys. They're like my brothers. A lot of us grew up in the same neighborhood, so it just kind of like a no-brainer. Yeah, so, like, that that was what I was going to ask. Like, how do you mesh with the rest of the crew? Like, you said you weren't sure where you fit in. Uh, you're the only girl in Taylor Gang, right? Yeah. Yeah, so, like, how what is that like? Like, is it you're just chilling with the guys all the time, or, like, how do you? All yeah. the time. I'm chilling with the guys all the time. <laughs> Which, you know, is natural for me because I grew up with brothers and my older cousins are all guys. I'm like, a, I'm really a tomboy. I'm more of a tomboy than a girl's girl. Uh -huh. So um, I fit right in. I love all of them. Like, they talk to me about anything. Like, I'm one of the guys, you know, we hang out, we go out, we stay up in the studio all night, we party together. Like, we have South by Southwest coming up and mm -hmm. last south by southwest we went to we had a ball and i love hanging with them i love hanging with my brother sometimes more than like hanging with my friends yeah and so i just have to ask are you a big weed smoker like the rest of the tea god rappers or are you are you not yeah. on that yeah <laughs> yes i am I, okay. I i i probably can smoke some of them under the table <laughs> <laughs> nice um so do you who do you think you have the best relationship with in the crew is it would it be wiz because you met him first or is there um, it's, it's, it's equal. I mean, me and Wiz have known each other longer uh, than a lot of people in Taylor Gang, and we're more like, we're more like family. Um, his mom and my mom are like best friends, so I would say me and Wiz have known each other longer, but I'm close with everyone. I wouldn't say there's really one person that I'm more close with. Me and Will are really, really close. That's also my adopted brother, so 
everyone. We all kind of started together, and you know, it. It. I'm close to everyone the same, in my opinion. And you said you had moved away for a bit, but you're currently like you're back in Pittsburgh right now. Like that's where you are. Yes, I moved to Baltimore for high school, and then I came back after I graduated high school. Okay. Um, and I've been here ever since. And what was that like in Baltimore? Were you, were you still like pursuing music when you were in high school, or was it like on a hiatus? Um, yeah, it was kind of a hiatus. I didn't know what I, I was. I was really shy, mm -hmm. so I was really like, uh, "Do you really want to do this? Mm -hmm. Do you want people to hear your music, or you just want to write poems? Do you just want to write, or do you actually want to put yourself out there and yeah. sing?" Yeah, yeah, it's a big. Decision. So when I got out and um, I gave college a try for about a year, and I knew that was absolutely what I didn't want to do, so. I said, you know, I, I got to give this a fair shot. And as I started to, things, doors just started to open and things started to happen naturally. And, and it kind of just showed me that this is what I'm supposed to do. Cool. So, like, we're, we're dropping your mixtape tomorrow. It's obviously entirely finished at, at this point. Um, what do you hope that to, like, do with Love on the Run? Is, is it your debut effort? I, th I think it is, right? Uh, it's my... You know, my first big project, I had okay. a mixed book out a couple of years ago entitled Wishing on a Star okay. that I put out because so many people were just asking for music after Bankroll and then after, yeah. Um, yeah. you know, we had a lot of songs together. So when people were hearing those songs, they wanted to hear my individual work. So I put together a mixtape called Wishing on a Star and I released it on my own. And that's actually what led to me signing to Taylor Gang okay. was after that mixtape came out. But this is my first big project where... All the production is original, yeah. no samples, there's no, <clears throat> I didn't have any help writing it, I did everything on my own, me, Wiz, and Will kind of sat down and just were really hands-on with it, so it's definitely like the first big project under Taylor Gang. Yeah, and and what's the vibe of the mixtape? Like, I was listening to it this morning, and so I kind of get a feeling, but how would you describe it? Um, It's kind of like one of those tapes that you just ride around smoke listen to it uh -huh. have you ever you like, can listen to it all the way through from the, to the end have you ever been compared to like Janae Aiko with like that kind of like laid back sound you know you have very yeah. soft vocals and like yeah like, yeah all the time everybody yeah. compares me and her I think our content is different and our personalities and our yeah you know our uh, image just in general is very different but our voice because we're both soprano we use a lot of air uh, I get that comparison all the time. Mm -hmm. So do you, do you mind it or like are you a little bit? No, I don't sure mind at all. She's okay. amazing. Okay. I've been a fan of her since her first mixtape. So it's it, it nothing but good things for me if I'm compared to her. And I love her and she's doing an amazing job right now. So that's mm -hmm. just a compliment for me. And uh, what other artists have, like, have inspired your music over the years? Mm, I'm a huge Beyonce fan. Anybody who knows me or follows me on Twitter or Instagram or anywhere knows that I'm a fan of Beyonce. I'm a fan of Sade, Mary J. Blige. Um, if you're talking about newer people, I mean, Tamar, I love her album. She released K. Michelle's album. I love that. So I'm really like an R&B girl. I yeah, like R&B music. Tell. I really like <laughs> pop music. <laughs> Cool. And how did you pick the producers for this tape? Like, was that was that all you and like Will and Taylor Gang decision, or like was it were there people that you you already knew? Or yes, I have a, a team of producers that I specifically work with. Um, one here in Pittsburgh, uh, his name is Ricky P. And then my friends from Baltimore, um, their names are the Misfits. And so we started kind of with those two. Oh, and my friend Anthony Jones, his name's Tone. He's from Pittsburgh. Uh, we got about six songs done with them, and then we just start adding things. So Sledger, of course, was a no-brainer because he's already a part of Taylor Gang. So I had a Sledger folder, an E-Dan folder, you know, I had folders from everybody, and I just picked through them and recorded to all of them and picked the best ones. Cool. And so, yeah, you mentioned earlier you'll be at South by Southwest this year. Um, what's the plan, like, when you're there? Like, what are you going to, what showcases will you be at, or where can people find you? We have a bunch of different showcases, and I'm receiving, like, flyers every day okay. um, of new showcases we're doing. So I know for sure we're doing, like, a fader showcase. Um, we're doing a showcase with Bootleg Kev. And there's one more. I can't think of what it. I can't think of what it is. Of, what the showcase is, but we're doing three. Okay. Uh, Wednesday, uh, Thursday, no, I'm sorry, Thursday, 
Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, I believe. Cool. And you've been at South by Southwest, like, before previous years? Yes. I went, not last year, just the boys went last year, but the year before that I went, and I had a blast. Probably, like... All the tours I've been on and all the shows we've done and, and festivals, sh- South by Southwest is definitely the best and the most fun. So I'm, I look forward to it. Cool. And just like one last question. After you launch Love on the Run, like what is your, what is the, the next plan for you? Or like what will you be working on? Will you be pushing like a certain single or are you like going on to the next thing? Oh, right now the single is Fooled, and that's available on iTunes. And then after Fooled, um, you know, you guys just leaked yeah. the song Me and Ty, uh, mm-hmm. Just Fucking. And then we have a single with Wiz called You Got Me, and we have a single with Chevy entitled Libra. So right now we're just trying to decide which one we want to put out after. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, we'll just be lining up shows to promote the mixtape. And then we have tour. Uh, that's going to be coming up. So I plan on just promoting, touring. Mm-hmm. I have a couple of press uh, days set up in New York and L.A. So it'll just be everything to promote the mixtape and then performing the songs and going on tour. So it's a lot. Yeah, for sure. Cool. Well, it sounds like you have an exciting year ahead of you, and uh, we'll definitely be watching. Um, is there anything, like, you want to let the fans know before we before we sign out? Just that the single is available on iTunes, mm-hmm. and the mixtape, Love on the Run, will be out tomorrow. Awesome. Cool. Well, it's been nice talking to you, and we'll be in touch. Likewise. Thank you, guys. Have a great day.